Okay, so somebody has a birthday coming up, and that somebody is the nature boy, Ric Flair. And in honor of that, it being Ric Flair's birthday today, um, when this video comes out, um, and depending on when you watch it, it probably won't be, but we are taking a look at the Ric Flair Ultimate Edition Articulation for Authentic Posability by Mattel. It's an ultimate WWE figure, uh, not the free word, not the road word. The ultimates from the uh, uh, Super 7, but uh, WWE's version of that, <laughs> it seems. What it seems to be that we have in this package here is an uh, so called elite figure uh, that the Mattel makes, the WWE figures. Um, sort of with some extra doodads and what's this? We got two pairs of hands, we got an extra head, we got a uh, entrance gear rope, and we also have a championship belt therein. Also, it looks like his his fucking his fucking something's coming off of his foot here. Well, that sucks. Um, so, like, he might already be kind of fucking broken. So that that's kind of terrible. Um, but, but we'll take a look on the inside once we get it open. But before we do that, let's take a look at the back of the box. Um, we have uh, some, some graphics here set up, and we have a picture of the figure. It says Ric Flair. We have his, uh, all of his, his stats and his, uh, not necessarily stats, but all of his pertinence. Six foot one. From Charlotte, North Carolina, finisher, the figure four leg lock, a career highlight, 16-time world champion. It's actually more than that, but WWE doesn't like to recognize certain things for certain reasons. Don't ask me why. And then we have a little flavor text. It says he's the styling, profiling, limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling and dealing son of a gun. He's every woman's dream and every man's nightmare. He's the one and only Nature Boy, and if you don't like it, learn to love it, because it's the best thing going today. Woo! That's what it says on the back of the box. Of course, a little quote from uh, Ric Flair himself. Um, but these were a little, I want to say these were like oh, almost 40 bucks. Uh, at Walmart, Target, wherever you might find them. Um, they might be a little bit less than that. I can't remember exactly how much it costs. I remember thinking, that's a bit too much. That's a little steep. But um, I only really ever saw them a couple times, and I, I didn't want to regret not picking them up because I uh, didn't want to miss out on the couple of characters that I really, really like, a couple of wrestlers that I really, really like. One of them. Being Ric Flair, but let's not waste any more time and see what this figure looks like outside of the box. Okay, and now he's outside of the box, and uh, yeah, this is Ric Flair. He comes with this uh, nice robe, his entrance robe, says Nature Boy on the back, has the uh, sort of simulated rhinestones on there, and all the, the fluffy stuff, the the whatever you want to call it, the feathery, fluffy, whatever stuff. Um, comes with multiple hands, got some uh, pointing fingers, got some uh, four, uh, four horsemen style hands, <laughs> and of course, a couple of holding hands um, so he can, uh, you know, I can give hand jobs in the locker room. I don't know why. <laughs> he didn't come with anything to hold. Came also with the World Heavyweight Championship. Of course, this would be the, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship uh, when Ric Flair held the belt, um, even though they just reused an old WWE one. You can see the logo on there. It's even the old scratch WWE logo on there because, uh, you know, Mattel, they don't care. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, ultimate, right? Um, and again, speaking of ultimate, here's that little... A bit that's coming up off the boot or whatever. I don't know what happened here. Um, yeah, it looks like it's it got you know something happened in the manufacturing process. Um, I've got little stains on them here and there. Um, yeah, ultimate. Yeah, ultimate. But what I will say about this figure on the plus side um, that it is very poseable. It does look besides the little issues. It does look nice. Um, you know, it comes with two heads, has a woo face, 
Woo! Look at that. And, uh, of course, a, a smiling, happy Ric Flair. You get two two heads. Um, pretty cool. Um, I, I'd say worth it. Um, it. I wish it didn't have the little problems. It's hard to tie this robe shut because uh, it's just this stiff-ass ribbon um, that doesn't like to stay tied. And, and then it's too short, really, to tie in a bow. Um, it's, or it's hard to tie in a bow if you want to do that. So I don't know. Uh, very cool figure though uh, for for having a Ric Flair figure of the Ric Flairs that are out there is this the ultimate Ric Flair figure I gotta say in my opinion yes this is the for right now this is the ultimate Ric Flair figure um, if, if you must have the best Ric Flair figure that, that uh, money can buy <laughs> out there right now this is gonna be what you're what you're looking for. Um, you know, kind of does double duty as a collectible statue, whatever, as well as an action figure. Not gonna break on you. It's made to to last, made by Mattel, so they're not gonna. You know, they don't make cheap stuff necessarily. Um, but you know, little issues aside, pretty cool figure. I'll say he is worth the money. Happy birthday, Ric Flair.